So, yesterday I did this. We trapped Giga. Not just any Giga. I level, what is he, like 320? 340? Alpha Giga! Got him in a big old trap. But the only thing is, I can't work out what to do with him next. You see, these big carnivorous beasts, if you missed last episode, uh, these guys need to be weirdly tamed. Much similar to a Carcharodontosaurus, which I have absolutely no experience taming. Same goes for Carnos, Rexes, obviously Carchars, Gigas, Spinos. I think that's it. There's six of them, six different species that need to be tamed this way. And um, I guess I learned the hard way that it's a little bit more of a complicated situation than I had first thought. Basically, we must trap them, get their health down. Something happens, they show an animation, and that's when we're meant to stop attacking them. And I think that's where I went wrong. On top of that, then we have to go and drop dead dinosaur bodies inside of there for them to eat. And voila, you got yourself a tame. Now, uh, we're going to need some help doing this because I realize my drag weight is atrocious. I can't carry a lot of weight. And to carry big dinosaurs, you got to be able to carry a lot of weight. So today, we're going to be hopefully solving that problem uh, by taming a flyer. A special flyer, something a little bit better than a pteranodon, which, uh, lucky for us, we, uh, you know, we're very fortunate that we have a good, steady supply of pteranodons at our disposal. Uh, but we're going to need something a little bigger, heavier, a bit more... Guys, 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 guys. Well, I'm glad I returned home uh, to, you know, catch you guys in the middle of your shenanigans. Uh, but I'm thinking it's time for us to tame... An RG, a big old RG. If we're lucky, an alpha RG. But uh, hey, I don't know. Maybe we'll see how things go. Hi. Hello, Alpha Triceratops. Welcome. Um, are you the only? No, wait, hold on. One of these. Yeah, okay. I accidentally let some Alpha Triceratops babies grow up in my face. <laughs> and that is because we are currently uh, farming fertilized eggs. So that's pretty sweet. Guys, before we go any further, though, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Now, let's get cracking. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's see what we can do here. Now, we have very, hello, hold on a second. I saw that star and I thought it was a prime for a second. Alpha Triceratops in the base. It's not the end of the world, but I'd rather him not be here. But we do have access to uh, mutton. Now, so this stuff's going to come in quite handy when it comes to the taming side of things, thankfully. Um, I've also got some traps uh, on me, or some gates, at least. They're not really traps, are they? Um, but we are, of course, going to need uh, two more pieces of this. We're going to need one and two. That is how I make my RG traps. Very simple, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, we're going to try and trap an RG, and hopefully a really good one of that, that can carry a lot of weight. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. Obviously, there's better options like, um, you know, Quetzals and that sort of stuff. But we're just going to start here and we'll see how things go. Plus, these RGs are super speedy as well. I think on top of all of that, I'm also going to bring my um, my Pygmy Kibble. Just because this stuff is amazing. And we can maybe catch our Pygmy while we're out there on a run as well. And it's pretty cold out there. So let's go and throw some of our fur gear on. Just to give us a little bit of added protection as well. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's see what we can find. In fact, let's hop up in here and have a look and see what sort of alpha argies we have at our disposal. Something viable would be really nice, but having a look at first glance, a lot of low levels. Uh, well, 560 over here. That's actually decent. That's really decent, as a matter of fact. Uh, but yeah, most of these are really low level dinosaurs. Uh, we got 660 out there. That's, that's, actually, that's really good. All right, well, I guess I gotta try it. It's a female too, which means it can lay us eggs. Yeah, we gotta try and get our hands on that one over there. And, you know, we'll cross our fingers and hope it goes according to plan. I got a little sidetracked, but I couldn't pass up checking out this drop here. And I wanna keep this one here a surprise. So I'm not gonna look at it with my spyglass. What do we have? Ah, it's really disappointing. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. I'm not even going to take those metal structures with me. We're just going to leave them here and, uh, yeah, wallow in our disappointment. Oh, something else I did find while I was just kind of cruising around a little earlier was a Prime Diplo, which, as you know, uh, too, too good to pass up. It's like a free Prime kill, and we can get pretty sweet loot out of those in the form of like genetic strings and that sort of stuff. So we're potentially going to have to go play that a visit and give that a kill. But for now, it's all about this guy. Level 660. What else do we have in the area there? Let me just double check because as you know, um, 
the I guess the quality of these dinosaurs or the tier of them doesn't always show up. It does if they're an alpha. It doesn't if they're a prime mega, uh, prime alpha, mega alpha, mega mega unique. Um, so we do need to be a little cautious just because there are things out here that will whoop my butt and we don't want to get our butt whooped. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Oh, pygmy die wolf. Little cutie, but not what we're here for right this second. Also kind of tempted to grab a Megatherium, but I guess it's not really priority. Uh, so this RG, I feel like is going to be a pain in the butt to tame. And that is because RGs are really far. Oh, there's another yellow drop over there. Oh, hi, Kano's. Regular Kano, Alpha Kano. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to find like a flat spot of land. That's where uh, like nearby, no other dinosaurs. Uh, but yeah, RGs are really fast in this mod, which means we're not going to be able to afford the same luxuries we normally, I guess, get when doing something like this. Uh, it's going to be really hard to outrun. So I guess we're just going to have to do it down here, which is fine. There's not a lot going on down here, so it's not terrible. But let's just kind of lay these down. I don't know. Maybe like there. And then same sort of gap just here. Okay. Can I fly out the sides? Oh, hello. So he just like wants to enter it, but he's likely not going to. Um, hold on a second. I'm about to get chased. If not being chased already, we're good. It's fine. All right. Gate on the ready. So, hey, IG, going to follow me? I know you do. Show me that speedy... Show me that speedy self of you. I think we got him. <laughs> Just like that. That was too easy, my dude. Oh, you made that so easy. His speed, if anything, backfired at keeping him safe. He just, just like darted straight in there to get me. And uh, well, that's it. All right, nice. Now we got to do the hard work. We got to knock the thing out. Assuming that this thing is actually a knockout team, which I, I, I haven't read anything that would lead me to believe otherwise. I think they are just a regular knockout. So fingers crossed that that is the case. Um, but he's trying to escape and he's getting awfully close. He has a lot of, or she, she's got a lot of torpor. Um, I'm going to need, okay. We got about 650 torpor out of our arrow. That's decent. That's a lot. I guess that's what we get for upgrading our, our crossbow yesterday. Look at this guy. Look at this hero trying to save his friend. Wait. The job's done. The job's done. It's all it's all easy from here on. He's stuck. I can help him survive, though. Or I can finish him off. You take your pick, buddy. <laughs> you take your pick. All right. I'm already seeing a problem here, though. I'm going to kill it. If I keep shooting him, he's done. His health is dropping a lot faster than um, his torpor is rising. So I actually can't shoot him any further. Which is really, really problematic. Okay. We're going to have to leave him be for the time being. Dang, I didn't even think of that. That is such an oversight on my part, but I'm glad I caught it early. So we are going to have to... That is a really nice... Wow. Stronger than the one with Taman, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we're going to have to be careful with that. So I'm going to need a, a long neck rifle. We're going to need a long neck rifle, a lot of darts. Well, technically less darts. Maybe only like 30 to 40 of them, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, but still, that's such a shame. All right, I'm going to head over, grab this yellow drop, see what's inside of it. Hopefully we can pull something nice and special from it. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do as far as long neck rifles go. Hello, RG. Leave me alone. Do I have a slight problem with some dodons down here, but they're distracted. So let's, oh, ooh, 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 Hello. Okay. Pretty good quest for saddles that I'm never going to craft because they're so expensive. A giant squid saddle, a Uranus saddle, Ascendant. Uh, don't know how good it is though. And then a Spino saddle. Right click for more options. Is it, is it any, yeah. I think these don't actually give armor. I think I forgot about that. They're just saddles. I'm pretty sure in this mod. Yeah, I completely forgot that this is a thing. So I think saddles, I don't think saddles offer protection. I think they're more about um, just rideability. Uh, so we're not really 
get much out of them out of having a really good one other than never mind i can break it down for resources i can break it down for resources nice now i saw this little dude and a unique pygmy alpha die wolf oh i have to at least try right i have to at least try hold on a unique alpha die wolf like pygmy die wolf sorry all right let's have a look can i pull this thing can we make this happen all right He's eaten one of them. Wait, that might have passed. Success? Failed. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. All right. Try again. You look at you, you little slow fella. Dude, this thing's going to be better than my Deodon. Kind of. I mean, my Deodon's an alpha pygmy. This is a unique alpha pygmy, which is pretty sweet. Um, all right. Come on. Come on. Consume a muckable, please. Yeah, man. Where are you going? Oh, what a pest. Oh, oh, wait. He took, he took some kibble right as I... Oh, <laughs> oh, that is good timing. Hold on. It failed, though. It failed. It failed. All right. We didn't, we didn't get the same. Uh, we have a very high level RG coming for us, though, as well as just a regular Kano um, and some Kano babies. All right. We uh, got to be a little bit careful here. All of these guys do me business. Uh, I think I'm just going to run out into the ocean. Oh, they're fighting themselves. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. All right. Well, look, I got two more shots at this team, but the problem is pygmies require two kibble, I think, to, to try and tame up, which means I think we've only really got one shot at this. Oh, it ate a piece. And it failed. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, I don't think we're going to get it. Not unless we go home and craft up some more of this stuff. Oh, that's right. All right, let's try this out. So we, we <laughs> look at this guy dancing around. We did get these saddles. Um, I don't plan to tame a giant squid. I don't even know if I need any scuba flippers. Um, the spino saddle, I'm going to keep just because. And the uterana saddle, probably not going to use it either. But, oh, wait, I can't grind things up in here anymore. We can only t attempt to upgrade. Oh, no way. Um, is there like a... No... The upgrade station doesn't have the grind anymore. We've got the augment station. Oh, salvage station. Hold on a second. Hold on. It's just a different... It's just a different thing. All right. All right. All right. Whoo! False alarm. We might still be able to pull some resources out of these things here. Give them to me. Let's place you over here. Salvage station. Take this and salvage. Oh, yes. Salvage and salvage. Nice. We didn't get like anything too remarkable, but like still, that's pretty darn good. And it means we can chuck them in here with everything else. <gasps> a ton of silly capels. I can finally get like a generator and well, electronics and stuff going, or at least a good amount of them. <gasps> I can bust up all this ammunition too. Anything else I can bust up? Um, Terabird saddle, Terabird saddle. Do up some more bullets. We'll grind all of this up. I don't plan to ever use any of it, so why not? Well, those chitin boots are pretty good. All right, salvage. Nice. And a ton of gunpowder, too. <gasps> good, because I need gunpowder for what we're literally about to do. This works perfect. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we need, first and foremost, a long neck rifle. Something I was hoping to find in the supply drop, but it, I guess it just never came to be. Then we're going to need darts. Darts require simple rifle ammo. Uh, which I assume we've learned. We've got a good amount of narcotics and we got metal. So let's get those rifle ammunitions coming in. We got all that gunpowder. It's not going to give us much, but it's going to be a start. We can then chuck this in here and attempt some upgrades. 150%, 200%, 234. I've got to be careful with my resources here. 500 and third, about 500 and 450 metal. If we want to take this up another upgrade, that's expensive. I might not do that. Um, that's a lot. That really is a ton. I also got a rack saddle in here. Can turn this into some pygmy kibble if I want to. Kind of tempted to, not gonna lie. Um, and we've got our bullets. Okay, so darts now. We can get. 36. That might be enough. It might be enough. Oh, that's such a tricky one. Um, let's grab. If 
fertilized dodo egg from here and we can get five more which means we've got a few shots at taming that pygmy so that's good um it's gonna use up the strip that's such a shame though tempted to bust up the spino saddle though not gonna lie um if i do want to upgrade one more time though what are we missing 36 stars might just cut it it might be enough oh it's such a tricky one to decide all right there we go we've got six kibble now lovely and if we really want to step our game up that one little extra bit we could probably get uh, i mean it's not a lot of charcoal but we can get some charcoal we got quite a bit of gunpowder so i could once we start crafting up some more spark powder get some more ammunition but i feel like we just get, roll with this and we see how it goes and then we'll uh we'll come back and cross that bridge in just a second okay first things first let's go and take another punt at taming up that dire wolf come on my little guy i know you want it it's waiting here right in the inventory i don't know if we just leave it all in there or what hey dire wolf took one of my pieces of kibble i guess it failed i wasn't paying attention because well, he's not tamed up yet, but he, he definitely took my kibble with pain in the butt. <gasps> took another one. He's taking another one. Tame, 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 tame. No! I wonder what the actual pass rate on these guys is because <laughs> I've fed a good maybe 10 to 15 kibble to these things and I've only ever succeeded once. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, 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 here we go. Yo! Yes. Finally. And this guy's actually got traits. Although they don't look like good ones. What? 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 Paralyzed, paralyzed, paralyzed runner? That doesn't sound good. Um, His speed is atrocious. Hey, this guy sucks. Those are terrible traits. And I'm pretty sure if I ride my Pteranodon with them, I think my Pteranodon gets them. So yeah, Paralyzed, Paralyzed, Paralyzed Runner. Are you serious? Um, the, does it, like, I, I don't know how this works, but I don't think that's good. I think my Pteranodon is... Damn, I wasted so many resources on this, on this guy and all we got was trash. Literal garbage um i should i I'm, i can't ride around with this guy on my shoulder hey at least he's got traits because my date on that we got previous to this guy doesn't actually have any traits so i guess traits are cool but not when they're terrible ones like this all right go home it's much quicker for me to move on without your little guy yeah look at this look how fast i am now all right real quick Kano saddle harpoon launcher hey like i said this stuff is for the resources. It is not for the utility, unless we get something good out of one of these drops. But for the most part, it's going to be resources, I think. Right now, though, it's time for us to return to the RG. Let's go and knock this thing out. Right after I have one little crack at this guy. I pig me off a Kano. Come on, I got to at least try. We'll see what we can get from this. Here he goes. It's one piece in and it failed. Oh, snap. Big, chunky Alpha Kano. I didn't even see this guy roaming around. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. He hasn't spotted us just yet, thankfully. Um, but he got... Ouch. What was that? What is that? What just... What just attacked me? What just attacked me? I didn't... Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, here comes Kano. Yep. Have fun with that, Mammoth. I'm out of here, though, buddy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 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 Oh! Okay, tamed up on the second shot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? Let's show me. Show me them. Let me show me them traits. I don't think he's got any traits. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that is so disappointing. I'm pretty sure this guy's got absolutely nothing going for him. And that is very disappointing. Um, oh, well, what are we going to do? Not much we can do. We did get some... Okay, we got some pretty good genetic strings from all of this, though. Um, what have you got? Anything? Yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. Just, like, a bare bones. Big me. All right, cool. Well, uh, go home, sweet home. That way, at least I know you're safe. 
because it is pretty cool to have a little alpha Kano on my shoulder but are you coming over to fight me you totally are my guy come on dude just let me get to this argentavis the whole reason we're here all right there we go and now it's time for me to do my thing hopefully just trying to work out where the safe place to stand is just got carnos everywhere <laughs> doesn't make me feel good so here's torpidity reset that's disappointing the good news is each arrow each dart is going to deal 700 torpor 24,000 divided by 700 I can't do the math on that, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough. It might be just short. And if it is just short, then I'll head on home. We'll grab what we need and we'll return to finish the job. Or maybe we just return home to upgrade this rifle one more time and try and get like a, I don't know. Try our luck at doing that. I don't know. Here we go. Kano here is getting awfully close. But the good news is we are over 10,000 torpor. So, a little under halfway. We might have enough darts. We might just get there. All right, we've got nine darts left. Mega Deodon spotted. That is not what I need to be seeing right now. But our friend up here has crossed 20,000 torpor. Seven darts remaining. I think this is... We're, we're either going to be right on the money or like one short. That's how close this is going to be. And lucky for us, I've hit every single dart we've shot. So, I, yeah, this is going to be so darn close. I'm just hoping that maybe it's got enough health left over that I can shoot it with a arrow if I need to. But I don't actually think we're going to. This Kano is so patient. Until right then. Dude, you were doing so good at just ignoring me. Come on, reload, 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 reload. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I thought I shot the Kano in the tail. RG is asleep at last. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so tedious. There it goes. Okay. Torpor is staying down. Health, unfortunately, is like if one thing bites close to this, it's dead. Um, Kano here is going to be a massive pain in the butt. Not much I can do about that right this second. Um... This guy, though, is he going to stay down? No, he's waking up fast. All right, I can get this done with 13 mutton. That's good. Are well, we going to go home? I'm going to grab some narcotics, which hopefully we've got lying around. I'm going to grab some mutton. Of course, two. Let's just see what we've got access to. Uh, mutton. Check. Um, where are my narcotics? Narcotics, check. Oh, we actually had some on us too. Great. Mutton, narcotics, my friend. Come with me. I need your help defending the line. I gotta deal with these car There's no way I'm gonna get anywhere close to this thing otherwise. Oh, I take some fall damage too. Why, why don't you? All right. How are we doing here? It's pretty woken up. I actually might need to get some more narcotics to finish this, but... Kano's have given me a little bit of room. Oh, get out of town, man. Wait. I can't. No! I can't open its inventory. Wait, no way. It's a... This, I know the... I know the Spyglass says passive tame. But sometimes with mods, it gets it wrong. And I just assumed it was getting it wrong. Unconscious. I can't tame it like this. How are you meant to tame it then? Am I really meant to just feed you? Am I really meant to feed you just dead dinosaurs? Bruh. Let me go and check the document, okay? Because I swear there is nothing in there to do with... Argent. Yeah, it doesn't say that I'm going to tame an Argy this way. Most carnivores are tamed with fertilized eggs only. Eggs from lesser tames provide less percent. Yeah, that makes sense. No knockout taming. Oh my goodness. I missed a tiny little line that said that. 
Will not accept fertilized eggs for 90 seconds after killing any target. Chance to stop eating after consuming lesser fertilized eggs. Uh, receives 10% increase to damage, damage reduction, whatever. May boosted. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Are you kidding me? So I meant to feed you fertilized eggs. I'm not meant to knock you out. All right, hold on. That's fine. That's fine. It hurts, but it's fine. I can just, we just re-trap it. I'm gonna have to have it down here somewhere. Probably able to escape that. I'm gonna re-trap it. It's gonna wake up. It's gonna stay, it's gonna wake up eventually. It will stay in here and instead, <laughs> we're just gonna have to drop it eggs, I guess. <gasps> he ate it, 5%. Yo, okay, okay, all right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, I've got eggs at home. All right, we've left one there for him. It's not too late. We can actually make this work. Okay, so the good news right this second is, um, RG escaped. Oh no. <laughs> oh, how did it escape? It's over there now. Oh, all right, well, that's a shame. But 20 eggs is what it would take to get this entire thing tamed up. If one egg does, or one egg, one, one out, uh, RG egg, that's 5%. We're going to need about 19, 20 total. Um, I've got 10 currently, so we will need a few more, but, uh, that won't take long. I just don't know how long these guys take to get hungry again. All right, let's go, birdie. Let's have one last shot at this. Oh, hello. What do you want? Gotchas. <laughs> okay, didn't intend to trap two of them, um, but we got two of them. Uh, and I need to somehow get this one out. It shouldn't be too hard. There we go. All right, time to start taming you all over again, I guess. So there's a fertilized egg. Do with it what you will. You know what, I'll give you two of them. Yeah. And then I'll give you some space and you just do your thing whenever you want. All right. Oh, finally. Oh my goodness. Okay. It took a long time, but just finally consumed another egg. I really have no idea how this whole thing works, but uh, there's still an egg in there waiting for her. We're just kind of hoping that, well, I've got enough. I'm pretty sure I need 20. Pretty sure I got exactly that amount, uh, but she's finally chilled out a little bit. It's going to make sure these eggs don't hatch because well, one of them somehow did before. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, yeah, not, not not ideal when that happens. Well, this is the furthest we've been. Eating two eggs now. So I guess we'll just keep them going. I'm going to do the low... Like the ones that have kind of incubated quite a bit already. Let's get rid of those early. Um, that way... Well, I don't know. Just because we know that the, the conditions aren't optimal to be hatching eggs. At least for now. And then if things warm up a little bit and they do decide to start hatching, then I'll make sure to prevent that. Um, but yeah, 10%, which means I need this thing to eat another 18 eggs. And we're laughing. Hey, hey, hey. There goes a third one. I wish you would just sit down and, and eat them. But uh, there's actually like a full animation where it looks like it's like picking the egg apart, which is kind of cool. Um, sweet. It's actually not taking too long. So I'm just going to sit back. I have been attacked by another RG and uh, a Deodon, so it's not completely safe out here, but it should be safe enough. Here we go. Did she eat it? Oh, it looked like she was going to. I think I might have distracted her. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My apologies. Do what you were doing. Do what you were about to do before I rudely interrupted. Hey, there she goes. 21.7%. Nice. Okay, I don't know what it means, but uh, no taming. What? Okay, hold on. What does the no taming bar mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means, but she's eaten 20. Well, she's, she's eaten five. Um, now she's got this yellow glow. Okay, she's aggressive. Am I meant to fight her? Or am I meant to just let that, that taming bar? Maybe I'll just sit back, relax, and let it do its thing, and then it'll be ready to eat again. I'm not sure. 
but we'll see. Okay, well, I guess that answers that question. She just ate another egg. Um, and the ta no, no taming thing has disappeared. So I guess that just means she wants to take a break from eating for a minute, which is good, which is fine. I'm glad we can clarify that. We're getting there. We really are. Okay. <laughs> I was going to concede a little earlier, but uh, all of a sudden, things have changed. You want to eat that next one? I'll give you a fresh batch. All right. So things are going really well. I can't tell if... <laughs> there it goes with another one. I can't tell if it has its little no taming thing happen every... I can't tell if it's the amount of eggs or the percentage, but it happened again at about 50% and then it happened at 70%. Um, but we're currently at 81 point, well, 81.5%, which means about another three eggs and we are done, which means we've actually got extras. So yay, <laughs> we don't have to use them or we can, we can save these for later. But I think the, the purpose or at least the intention is well, what you want to do is get some really high value eggs. So track eggs are okay, but if we were doing this with Rex eggs, I reckon this would happen so darn quick. It would be ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I guess food for thought, get a pair of Rexes breeding soon and things will go even smoother. But then again, the alpha part might actually play a role as well. I'm not sure. Uh, Cause like, you know, alpha track eggs might be worth an irregular, worth more than a regular track egg. I don't know. Good news is though, we're, uh, we're doing this. We're doing this. All right, there we go. 92.4%, two more to go. Um, I think we actually nailed the perfect egg count. We got like one extra. So we got this one, this one, that should be it. Let's go. Let's just hope there's no more little no taming break in between the consumption of these two. And uh, we will be, I'm happy. I'm so darn happy. I can't believe we've done this. I was so ready to can it and try again tomorrow, but Yippee. <laughs> Perseverance pays off. Well, here we go. Any second now. Another 2.2% remains. Final egg sits right there. I just don't want to get too close to like anger her or anything, but any second now should be the moment. Oh, oh, it looked like she was kind of changing angles there and like about to go for it, but not quite. Come on, come on, come on. Eat the egg, eat the egg, eat the egg, eat the egg. Here it is. Here it is. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I saw the taming bar go to 103% and I had a little heart attack there. We did it. Alpha RG acquired. No like massive monumental music moments or anything like that, but um, doesn't matter. We did what need to, needed to be done and we got what we needed. Um, I'm just going to demolish this. Whatever. It is what it is. RG mate, you did it. And now my big question is... Um, what traits do you have? No traits. Wow. Really? I thought, eh, fair enough. I thought when you like tame dinosaurs, they get traits, but I guess not. The only downside with this thing is, uh, the lack of, uh, imprints, but that's fine. It's going to do what I hope for it to do. I think, uh, we're going to have to get it a saddle real quick. Just to, just to see what sort of damage it deals. I don't want to like leave that mystery any longer than we have to. So let's quickly hop in here. Let's quickly learn the saddle and let's quickly, oh, I always get this wrong. Let's quickly draft one up. All right, Argumentavis, here is your saddle, my friend. Now, show me what you can do. Oh, you're a speedy little dude as well. Um, dude, 150 damage on a flyer, I'll take it. Especially like an unleveled flyer, unimprinted flyer. There is nothing, absolutely nothing special about it. Um, and we can get this guy nice and strong tomorrow and eventually like, you know, give it some traits and make this thing extra useful. Genetic strings. I got two of them on me. I can even give it a prime one. So we can literally, literally go bang, bang. Oh, not quite. No. Nope. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of a cooldown. Can't just jam them all into there. We can give it three trace straight off the bat. And then basically it's ready to, oh no, I can't have a prime one just yet. I forgot. It, need, it can have a superior one though. Um, weak and runner. So I guess it's faster and it deals less damage. Wow. Okay. There goes the damage. We just weakened it because I'm dumb. Um, but anyways, we can pretty much turn this thing into a unique and then a prime very, very quickly. Oh, we did it. Great. Guys, I'm calling it here. Thanks for watching. I can't believe I didn't end up conceding defeat today. Hope you guys are proud of me. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead, press that thumbs up, but most importantly, have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.